Hi everyone, I'm Allie from A Glass After Work and Happy Wines Wednesday. Today, uh, I'm gonna unbox my um, Storybook Mountain Vineyards Wine Club. Um, this is the first wine club I ever joined uh, back in 2009 when I went to Napa Valley for the first time. I actually went out there for the Wine Bloggers Conference and I just, I fell in love with this winery. It was one of the places that we went to uh, taste the wines on site. And they set up this entire tasting room in a grove of these huge redwood trees. And it was absolutely gorgeous. So the tasting was all set up. We were under this grove of redwood trees. And it was the first time I tasted a red Zinfandel. And you guys, I just fell in love with it. So as you can imagine, when they mentioned that they had a wine club, uh, I was in. So um, I, I only get three bottles um, and they ship several times a year. I, I do the three bottle a month club, which ranges between 100 and $175 um, each shipment, depending on which wines they're sending. It's mostly red wines. They do um, do a Viognier, a white wine, and they have a rosé uh, that I absolutely love. But the wine club itself is usually uh, a variety of their red wines. So uh, with that, why don't we open up my March shipment and see what it is that, uh, that I've got. So I will say one of the things that the only thing I really don't like about this wine club is that they ship all of their wines with styrofoam. And I do find that really surprising considering that the winery is certified organic. So they obviously care about the environment. They care about their grapes. They don't use pesticides yet. Um, they ship all of our wines in, in styrofoam, um, but uh, it is what it is. And with that, we have got a Storybook Mountain Cabernet Sauvignon uh, 2014. Um, as you can see, it's got all of the little crazy styrofoam things, which I am now going to get all over the house. But, okay, so pull that one out. Grab the rest of these. So as you can see, three uh, three bottles of the same wine. Um, so as you see, we've got the 2014 Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon from Storybook Mountain Vineyards. And if I remember correctly, this uh, wine is somewhere in like the 60 or $70 range. I'll make sure I put it up on the screen so you, so you can see for sure. And why don't we uh, open it up, give it a quick taste. And so usually what I do with these wines is that when I get the shipment in, I will open one bottle up, taste it, and see, uh, see what it tastes like when I first get it. And then I will hold um, the wine then usually for like three to five years, um, assuming that I think the wine can last that long. This way I can kind of see how it ages. And then somewhere around the eight to 10 year mark, I will open up my last bottle since I've only got three, uh, three bottles to play with. All right, so here we go. Ah, oh, that just has such a great smell already. Ooh. And as you can probably see, it's got a nice deep purple color. I mean, that is definitely a young wine. Um, nice, nice deep purple. Um, 
So let's, uh, let's take a sniff. Oh, you guys, this is so good. Uh, some blackberries and some black cherries. And, um, and it's one of the things that I loved about that original wine tasting I did. Um, there is so much like forest, like cedar, like a wet forest floor. Like if you've ever gone hiking, um, and it's drizzled a little bit and you kind of got that like mossy kind of wet dirt smell. There's a lot of that on this nose. All right. Um, and why don't we give it a taste? Cheers. Oh, wow. So the first thing right off the bat, there's a lot of tannins in it. There's some good acidity, lots of tannins. My mouth is just salivating right now. Um, I feel a lot of that gum pull um, going on there. So some medium to high tannins. And it's just, oh, I can just like, my want to keep clicking my tongue on the top of my, on the roof of my mouth. Um, uh, flavor profile wise, so lots of dark fruits. Um, definitely uh, continue to get those blackberries and black cherries, um, maybe even a little bit of black plum. Continue to get some of that forest floor, just a little hint of um, some cedar and smoke, and also a little, a little bit of vanilla, but not like, like it's really, really, really light, um, not much. I will say um, it's a little tart. It's a, it's a wine I think that's gonna age really well, but it's definitely tasting very, very young. The thing that I love um, about, about their wines is that they're incredibly food friendly. So I think this would be great with, um, with a burger. So if you're gonna grill outside, um, I hope where you are, the weather's getting warmer. It's definitely getting warmer here in, uh, in DC. So, you know, you wanna do a, um, a burger or a steak. I think this would go really well with some lamb. I love pairing it with a short rib dish um, that my husband makes in the crock pot. It's, it's fantastic um, together. And so, yeah, oh, what a great nose. Well, and with that, um, I think that that's what I've got for you today. So uh, if you have had the Storybook Mountain Wines, I'd love to know what you think of them. I will leave all of the information about the wine and the winery and the wine club down in the comments below. And if you like my video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And with that, happy Wine Wednesday. Cheers.